Hello everyone, so in today's video is going to be an introduction to a series of um, videos I'm going to be releasing very soon concerning um, the doctrines of the BCS, my rebuttal of their beliefs and their doctrines, okay? So I actually wanted to just end this whole BCS topic in the last video, but someone, you know, brought to my attention that it would be nice if I do a complete rebuttal of their major doctrine, their main doctrine as it relates to salvation, as it relates to who Christ is and how Christ is going to come and all of that. So I was like, okay, let me just do this one last, like a series once and for all. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know. But the plan right now is like, this is going to be like once and for all and wrap it up because I'm not interested in which one anybody. I know people think that's what that, that's what the goal of these videos are. No, I'm not interested in all of that. And I like, care more about you know, preaching the gospel and things like that, not which hunting anybody. Okay, so I'm going to uh, wrap that up hopefully with this series okay so um just want to just make an appeal to anybody watching this who is a bcs member i would really, really appeal to you to be patient listen bring out your bible do not take my word for it okay search the scriptures for yourself and see if the things i'm saying is true or not if it's not true okay but if it is the, 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 the burden is now on you to either reject scripture or to reject the word of God for your own personal beliefs or your own personal convictions and all that sort of thing. So, I um, will also encourage you because I know how it is in brotherhood where um, no one is encouraged to question anything <laughs> because if you begin to question, they keep telling you, like in my other video, you see a lot of comments, people saying that uh, when just Christ came the first time, people were, you know, um, Claim that he's not who he said he is, that he's not the Messiah, and all of that. That the Jews, you know, rejected him and all that, and it's the same thing that's happening again this time around. That is, <laughs> that is a very, very, very false analogy. Okay, what the Bible even speaks about and wants believers about is the fact that there's going to be plenty of false Christ. I'm going to read from Matthew 24 verse 5. Matthew 24 verse 5 says. For many will come in my name and say, saying, I am the Christ, and will lead many astray. This is the words of Christ warning us that in the last, this is what's going to happen. And then also in, in 23, he says, Then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or there he is, do not believe it. For false Christ and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders to lead as, as so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. So, the money for us in the last is which is what we are in the fact that there are many there are going to be many false Christ and there are many remember it's not the only false Christ available there are many all over the world right now and they are all gathering people around them people are watching them and calling them Jesus Christ so this is not the only one and in um and um so it's very very important for us to search scriptures to see what the Bible has to say about who Christ is and how and how we can identify him and, and the honest truth is, I had a very long conversation with the Brotherhood member for a few weeks, actually, went on for a few weeks, discussing, you know, back and forth, um, scriptures and what they believe, what they, they believe and all of that. There seems to be a confusion in Brotherhood as to the coming of Christ. Christ was very, very clear about the second coming. And this series of videos is going to help to throw light on that and, you know, kind of give a response to the Brotherhood claim and throw some light so basically that's this is the goal of it and also the most important thing here is the gospel for me for me to share the gospel because i know in brotherhood they always claim that oh they are, they are preaching gospel and they the everlasting gospel and all of that but i want to just um show with the bible through scripture that they are preaching a different gospel and the bible warns about that that if anybody comes let me read it in Galatians, okay, so Galatians 1 verse 8 says, But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach a gospel contrary to the one which we preach, let him be our cost. Okay, so it, it's not about how mysterious or how much signs and wonders this person that you claim to believe in Jesus Christ is. Even if an angel appeared, Paul said, Even if I myself come to you and preach you a different gospel, let me be our cost, or let that person be our cost. The number one, the defining factor for truth is the scripture. It's not, you know, anything that is subjective. It's not by revelations and dreams and vision. He appeared to me. He did this and all of that. And signs and wonders. All of that do not matter. It's what does the Bible say? What is the gospel? What is the truth of the gospel? If whoever is coming to you claiming to be Christ, claiming to be a prophet, claiming to be a pastor, claiming to be whatever he wants to call himself, not just about this years, and is preaching a different gospel. And what is in the Bible, 
that person is a cause, that person is false, that person is not who he claims he is. So basically this is the point of this whole video. Okay. So if you're interested in hearing it out and hearing what I have to say, please tune in and watch, share, comment, you know, <laughs> don't be mean. <laughs> and then let's, you know, have a conversation and see where this goes. So um, thank you very much. I'll also be bringing at least one or two people as well that would share their own thoughts and will discuss this. It don't be like just me that's just talking all the time. Okay. So um, I'm very, very excited about this new series. Please stay tuned. Thank you.